Welcome back, everybody. This is Glockman4519, and I am back with another Rama review, uh, as you can tell by the background or the wallpaper. Uh, this one here is Bliss. Now, this is the latest version of Bliss, uh, and I have to apologize to you guys um, for not getting it uh, out to you, you know, sooner. Um, I've just been having issues with the ROM itself, uh, for me anyways. Um, from what I read, uh, everybody else seems they're not having any issues with it. Uh, and I only have a couple, uh, small issues, but those issues, uh, I'm just changing my icons real quickly. Uh, let's go with, uh, let's go with saturate. Oops. Let's go with saturate. Um, I, I'm, I'm, a, I am only really having one issue, uh, with the ROM, but it is a snowball issue, which means, um, even though it is a small issue, it affects quite a few other apps. Uh, n the first off being, let me show you my lock screen. All right. It looks pretty good, but I have the weather settings turned on and there are no weather settings on my lock screen. Okay. Um, and I'll show you why that is, but. Uh, I will say that I have only found one thing wrong with this ROM, and it is a very, very small issue. Um, we're going to go ahead and get into this. Uh, we're going to get down to About Phone. Uh, this is Bliss Pop uh, for the Nexus 6. Uh, this is Bliss version 6.4. So, yes, it has been a while since I've updated uh, and done a, you know, an, an update uh, review video for this ROM. I think the last one I did was back around 6.1 or 6.2. Um, again, this is an official build. It does have the latest security patches. Uh, we're, we're, you're talking about Android 6.01, uh, July 5th security patches. Um, I am running Blackbird kernel. I did flash this the first time uh, using the supplied kernel. Uh, that's just how I do it. I always flash using the supplied kernel unless it specifies that it is going to uh, encrypt my phone. Then I, it, that's a no brainer. I go with Blackbird, um, or another kernel that doesn't encrypt. Um, I'm running Blackbird because of, uh, I just like Blackbird kernel. Uh, and I will go through some of the settings and the reasons why I use it later in the video. Um, but for now, um, we're just going to go ahead and stick to, uh, the review, um, of Bliss. So let's go ahead and go up into the custom settings. That would be called Bliss Settings. Uh, first up is going to be the animations. Uh, those are your animations. If you like to change them, there they are. <laughs> it's fighting me. All right, next up are going to uh, be the button settings. Uh, you have your nav bar buttons, your left-handed mode. Uh, show arrows uh, while typing, uh, buttons and layout. This is going to be where you can actually change the nav bars if you want uh, the button layout. You just hit edit, physically drag it where you want it, click save, you know, and Bob's your uncle, you're good to go. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just click the back button, and you notice it went back to where it was. It didn't save it. Uh, but it is that it is actually that simple to do. Um, next up is going to be your nav bar dimensions. Um, you I, I will show you guys what they are. Uh, I am running at the max uh, dimensions uh, that you can right now. Next up is going to be your bar tint. You can actually uh, color the bar if you want. Uh, I'm running a theme, so I am not going to do that. Um, whenever you enable a color, um, if the ROM comes with color settings and your theme has icons or it is, uh, it is coded with its own color, you will have, uh, you will have conflicts to it. Um, it will screw your system up big time. So just just so you're knowing uh, that if you enable uh, any of the color settings and you're running a theme with color settings in it, um, you're going to end up with a lot of white everywhere. Um, next up is going to be your least, uh, recent long press action. Uh, it's set up. It says last app. Uh, this is another one of those where I could not get it to actually bring up a, a selection box. Uh, it just it says last app. Uh, next up is going to be the slim dim settings. If you guys use slim dim, uh, these are the settings for you. 
Uh, I don't use it, so you know, I, I really uh, <laughs> I can't even go into any kind of description for you. Um, but there are the settings for it. Next up is going to be the power menu. Uh, this is going to be where you can pick and choose what you want on your power menu. Uh, I don't have my uh, second uh, user set up. Uh, if I did, I would actually be able to enable that. Um, I would like to see some more options on the power menu. Uh, that would be about the only thing I would like to see. Uh, then, of course, you have your, uh, you can end call by uh, hitting the power button. If you hit the power button twice, uh, you can also uh, turn the camera on. That would be your next setting. Uh, then underneath that's going to be your volume settings. Uh, you do have wake device, you know, volume key answer. You, you just pretty much just, you know, set it up for uh, skipping tracks, all kinds of stuff. Um, that's what that's for. Uh, then, of course, you have your, uh, your keyboard cursor, con cursor control if you, if you want to have the cursor control on there. Uh, reorient, um, you know, swap uh, the volume keys whenever you flip the, uh, the phone on its side uh, because it can get a little screwed up if you're trying to take your volume up or down when it's in landscape mode. It does kind of screw with your head <laughs> if you're not used to it. So that kind of alleviates that. Uh, then you have the kill app back button uh, and, you, and your time control. Now it does come right about there uh, as flashed. Uh, I always take mine up right about to the center. Actually, it's a little high, right about there. Um, if I don't, I inadvertently, you know, hit the, I hit the back button, and for some reason, it just kills that app for me instead of going back a page or you know whatever. So that's why I have that set like that. And remember, guys, my phone has a uh, um, one of those HD uh, high impact scratch resistant uh, glass screen protectors on it. Um, so that may have some of the, uh, uh, that may be some of the reason why uh, my settings are a little screwed up and I have to take that up that far. It might be a little more sensitive. You know, it's, it's hard to say. So uh, you guys just have to play with that and, and see where you go with it. Uh, next up is going to be the, cock, or the clock settings. I almost said, <laughs> God, uh, it's going to be your clock and alarm. Now what this is, this is your widget settings, okay? Um, this is going to be where you set up your widget, uh, you know, just standard affair. You guys are, anybody that's run an Android widget, a stock Android widget, the clock and weather, it's just basic. So there are all your settings. You, you can actually set up the, the colors, you know, and all that. That's how you would do that. That's how I got my lock screen to look the way I did with this app. Um, that, of course, would be the clock and alarm. Next up is going to be the weather panel. Here's where I ran into a problem with the ROM. And this is one of the reasons why I didn't continue to run this uh, ROM last time. Um, weather doesn't work. What happens is, you see how I have it enabled. Um, it comes like this. If you enable it, you notice it says weather, uh, weather source, and then it says no weather source selected. That's because there is no weather, uh, weather source in the ROM at all. Um, I don't know what's going on if... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure it's a known issue. Uh, I, I didn't go back through the thread and read it. Um, and it's not just uh, Bliss that's having this issue. I do know there are a couple other uh, ROMs out there, and I can't remember the names uh, right off the top of my head, but I do know that they are all uh, uh, CM-based ROMs, um, and they're having this issue. Now, you can go to the Play Store, and you can download the uh, Sonogen mod, uh, you know, Open Weather, and there is something else. Uh, I don't know. It, if you go in here, it'll ask you to pick a weather source. Uh, I'll actually show you guys. Add Weather Provider. It's going to take me to the Play Store. It's going to give me a list of people you can choose. Uh, you, Yahoo, uh, that's the one you want to definitely go with. So you would pick that one, because that's what actually is supposed to come. So I will install that. Except, and I'm going to go back now. You notice now in my settings, I have uh, Yahoo. I'm going to click that as my provider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, it's there. I'm going to use custom location. Now, if I go to type in my custom location, 
This is the one I use, uh, my incognito <laughs> um, <laughs> place because I don't want you guys knowing exactly where I live. Uh, if I put that in, see how it says cannot retrieve information? All right, let me put Washington, D.C. Uh, Washington, D, C. Cannot retrieve location. It, it just doesn't work. Uh, it doesn't matter what app you have in here or, uh, you know, what location you put in. Um, it doesn't work. It hasn't worked for quite a while. And that is one of the reasons that, that I don't use it. Now, it is a very, very small thing. Um, I could use my tablet if I wanted to get the weather. I could just stick my head out the window or listen to the radio. But um, for all the features on your phone to work, like your lock screen weather, your temperature notifications, all that, that needs to work. It is a snowball effect. So that one little issue that doesn't work is going to affect a lot of other uh, things on your phone. So just figured I'd let you guys know that. But that is the only thing that I found that does not work with Bliss. Um, and yes, I did try it with the uh, with the stock kernel. Um, I figured I'd flash Blackbird to, hopefully, I was hoping that would fix it, um, which I knew it wouldn't uh, because I've done this before. Um, okay, anyways, uh, next up is going to be your gesture anywhere. Uh, if you guys use that, uh, you basically turn that on. You can set up pretty much any gesture you want. Uh, then you have your lock screen settings. Uh, you can set up your security up on top, uh, uh, smart lock. Uh, you can have a lock screen message, uh, so on, so on. Uh, voice assist, charging current. That's I have that. That's a good one to have. Um, I just read uh, on a video I put out a while back. Uh, actually, one of my first few videos I put out on my One Plus One charging. Um, somebody, uh, had mentioned that their phone was charging really, really slow and I couldn't understand why. Um, and one of the things that is nice about, um, custom ROMs is that's this feature right here, uh, charging current, because it shows you how much current you have coming into your phone, charging your phone. So if you're having a slow charging issue, just by looking at that and it says, uh, say under one milliamp, you know, you have an issue with your phone, your charger. Uh, if it's coming in at under, uh, you know, say 100 milliamps or something like that, if it's not somewhere around 1,000 to 1,500 milliamps, you got you have an issue. Uh, it's definitely with your charger and uh, your USB cable or your USB port that everything plugs into. Um, so it's it's just a nice little feature to have. I know I spent a lot of time talking about it, but all right, moving on. Um, Lock screen torch. Uh, you do have display uh, music uh, visualization. I, I, I actually usually leave that on even though I don't uh, play hardly any music at all on my uh, phone. Uh, uh, media art cover. Uh, you do have your power menu uh, on the lock screen, which I like that feature. Uh, show lock screen clock, date, uh, weather, which, yes, I have it shown weather, but of course, weather doesn't work, so it doesn't matter. Uh, next up is going to be the recents. Uh, these are the only settings you have for recents. You have uh, uh, pretty, pretty much search bar and memory bar. That's it. Uh, you can go with Omni if you guys like. I know quite a few people that still use Omni. It is still a, a very viable option, uh, and it is very, very quick. Uh, next up is going to be the status bar. Uh, it's going to be your clock settings. Uh, of course, you have your uh, right, left, center, or hidden, uh, which is going to be that setting right there. Uh, you can actually show seconds if you want. It does work. <laughs> uh, AM, PM style, uh, color. Uh, I like the fact that they let you color, and you get to uh, change your font size, which is awesome. Um, I've said it in the past on quite a few other videos. I like the fact that um, certain ROMs give you the option to change your DPIs. Uh, for your status bar, um, especially on some of these ROMs that are uh, coming flashed at like uh, uh, 480 DPI uh, or or smaller uh, on a Nexus 6, I mean you can barely read what's in the status bar, uh, unless of course you're you know 18 years old and you have uh, you know 30/30 <laughs> vision or something. 
<laughs> I'm not. Uh, so I, you know, I kind of need that. Uh, <laughs> I kind of need that setting to be a little bit bigger. Anyways, moving on. Um, you do have the date, date style, date position, uh, date format, and you can actually color the date if you want to run uh, with a date in your status bar. Um, I, day and time for me is just fine. Um, next up is going to be the battery. Of course, I have mine hidden. Uh, that's those are your options to choose. Uh, and then, of course, you have your battery bar settings. Uh, I have mine hidden right now, but you could go status bar, uh, and you could pick the color. Uh, let's go. I'll show you. It's quick. It's easy how to pick the color. Let's just go like that. Uh, but I'm going to, oops, uh, I'm actually going to hide that. Uh, that way, you know, uh, people can't watch my battery drain or whatever and say, hey, that ROM sucks, you know, or something. <laughs> I just, I'll just keep it hidden. Um. Then of course you can uh, you can change the uh, uh, the thickness of the DPI of your battery. Uh, one DPI for me is fine. Uh, of course you guys can go all the way up to four DPI if you want, or you don't have to run it at all. You can just run it like my phone right now with no battery bar at all on it. Uh, status bar icons. Here's where you can pick and choose what you actually want to show on your status bar. Um, you know it's pretty much standard what they have here. Though I don't see anything that's uh, extra. Uh, it looks pretty stock to me. Um, but this is where you would turn them on or off. Uh, Bliss ROM is one of the few ROMs that allow you to colorize uh, your icons. Uh, icons. Uh, I don't color mine because of the, uh, the themes I'm running. Uh, actually colors them for me. Uh, but if I were to color them, it's as simple as picking what you want. Let's say, um, let me see, status bar, icons, status bar, uh, icons, color, signal colors. That's, now, you notice my signal colors aren't colored. This theme that I'm running does not color my signals. So I can uh, I could actually color them. So let's go with, a, I, I kind of want to go with a silver color to match the theme I'm running. Ah, it's a little dark. Uh, let's take it up to about here. Uh, I guess I can't get a silver in there, can I? Without it looking white. All right, let's just go there. There we go. Uh, it's not white, but, you know, it kind of matches and it's, it kind of goes with the theme. So, that you can use this as long as your theme does not color. So, if you enable your theme and the, uh, you know, the icons you would like to be colored are white, then you can go ahead and color them. But if your theme colors the icons, don't color them because you are going to be screwed up big time. Uh, just figured I'd, uh, mention that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go back to white, uh, because <laughs> I run a lot of different themes and I don't want to have a conflict with it. Uh, you have your carrier label. You can uh, uh, do with that as you please. Uh, network traffic, incoming, outgoing, both, none. Uh, I have mine set up uh, both ways uh, and I do have it colored yellow. I like that feature. Uh, I like it especially if you can color it. Uh, temperature control. Um, I love that the ROM includes this. The problem is, is without that weather uh, app being on the uh, on the ROM, this doesn't work. It has to have that in order to find its location, in order to get your temperature. So it's a moot point. Uh, I really, really wish that this would work. Um, uh, of course, uh, now next up is going to be your Super uh, Sue indicator. If you want it to show your uh, headset icons, uh, Bluetooth icons. You know, 4G, and it does come with time contextual header, although you can't change it. I really wish they would go with a, um, a changeable header where you could download off of the Play Store and switch it out in the uh, uh, CMTE uh, theme engine. That would be awesome. Um, you do have your brightness control, show notification count. Uh, then you have your quick pull, uh, which you can set it. It's already set up for the right side by default, but you can set, up, set it up however you want. Uh, then down below that you have your Bliss logo, and yes, I'm going to run the logo if the ROM provides it. Uh, as you can see, it is on my uh, left side there, and I did color it the Bliss green. Uh, next up is going to be System App Remover. I'm not going to really go through this, guys. If you're going to remove anything from your system apps, please back up first. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing, uh, you can really screw your phone up. Um, just That's all I'm going to say. Uh, and then after that's going to be your wake lock blocker. Uh, I do not run a wake lock blocker. I have apps that do that for me. 
and that is pretty much it guys um i will quickly run down through oh i know what i want to show you kernel auditor one really cool thing about this rom is it comes with kernel auditor mod what that means is it does not have the kernel auditor you get from the play store baked into it it actually has the kernel auditor dash mod that you get from xda baked right into it i love kernel auditor mod uh quite a few reasons now we're actually going to go through and i'm going to show you how i set my kernel up um i am running blackbird kernel i'm going to show you the cpu frequencies right now you notice only two cores are on and running uh, and that will pretty much stay like that for almost, you know, until it, until the demand jumps up to, uh, uh, 2496 megahertz. And when it jumps up to 2496 megahertz on the other cores, it's going to, and it's going to kick them in. Um, and I'll show you how I set that up. Uh, right now I have my max, uh, <laughs> yeah, I was running N22 earlier. All right, I'm going to show you how I really set it up. <laughs> Uh, I usually set this up for, um, uh, my, my max I usually set up for 2496, no, no, not 2496, it's 26, let me do this again, 2649, that's where I set, I set up my max for 2649, uh, I always have my minimum at 35 megahertz, I know I've, I've seen comments saying that you cannot set a Nexus 6, uh, at 35 megahertz, yes you can, I do it all the time, uh, but now it is device driven, just because it works on my device does not mean it's going to work on your device, guys. Just remember that, okay? These settings may not work on your device. Um, CPU maximum screen off. Uh, I usually go around 300, no more than 422, uh, and I always run conservative governor. If I don't run conservative, I will go with the nightmare governor. Um, it works about as well, uh, although I tend to lean more on the conservative governor. This is if I want to have a power save mode, okay? That means it's going to give me a smooth all-around experience. Um, I am not going to get any lag. Um, and unless I get into some heavy gaming or something. Uh, and I am going to have some fairly good SOT and battery life. Now, if I go to play some demanding games or something, uh, I'm going to want to change these settings a little bit. Okay, uh, not that it will do anything, but I may notice some lag, uh, some frame rate skip, stuff like that. Uh, but we're right now we're looking at battery optimization and overall performance. Okay, um, CPU voltage. Uh, I know I've heard a lot of people say do not undervolt. Uh, I always undervolt. Um, I am at a global offset of minus ten. Okay, now notice I do not hit apply on boot. Uh, that is because you should never hit apply on boot with anything under volting or over volting. Um, it's just a thing. Just be, you know, don't be lazy when your when your ROM when your ROM boots up. Go into the kernel auditor, auditor and either under volt or over, over volt. Don't hit apply on boot. You're going to end up with some problems down the line if you do. All right. Um, CPU hot plugging. Um, this is where the Mako hot plug comes in. Uh, it comes with state helper applied by default, uh, the Blackbird kernel. Uh, I always shut that off. I choose to make a hot plug, make sure none of the other hot plugs are enabled. Uh, you want to go down to the CPU frequency unplug limit. Uh, I have mine set at 94 or uh, 90, 2496. That is where I have mine set at. You guys can play with that a little bit if you want. Remember, all devices are different. The high load counter, I always set mine at 3. I have played with this. 3 is the best. That is where it works best on my phone. The, uh, the uh, uh, load threshold, 90%. Again, you, you, you can play with this, okay? Um, you can go a little plus, a little less. Uh, these, are, these are basically starting points for you guys um, to set Blackbird kernel up if you decide to use it. And you want to go with the Mako hot plug, okay? Uh, these are good hot plug, Mako hot plug settings to use. Um, my max load counter I have set at 50. Again, guys, uh, device dependent. You guys can go with what you want, but be, you know, you just go vary a little bit from each way to the other. Find out where your sweet spot is, then run with it. Uh, min time CPU online, one, timer, one. 
those are my settings. Okay? Uh, and I do always hit apply on boot with that. I just know it works, so I, I have apply on boot. Uh, I don't mess with my thermal settings at all. What you see, it comes flash that way. I leave it like that. I do know some people mess with that. I don't mess with my thermal throttle at all. Under GPU, uh, it comes at 800 megahertz. I drop mine down to 600 megahertz. Now, remember I said about if you're going to be uh, if you're going to be playing some games or something like that. Uh, this is about the only setting that I change. If I know I'm going to be playing a game like uh, uh, Need for Speed, not Need for Speed, um, um, Asphalt 8, uh, or some of the other games, I come right into uh, Kernel Auditor. I jump this up to 800 megahertz. Uh, so that my GPU is going to be at max megahertz. That's what I change. Um, I don't change my CPU. I think the stock uh, CPU setting that the Nexus 6 came with is plenty to run any game that they have out on the Play Store today. So, uh, But I do let the uh, GPU uh, uh, go up to maximum 800. But uh, if I'm not running a game and I'm just day-to-day -day running, it's 600 megahertz. That is the only thing I change on there. Um, I don't change my CPU or my GPU governor. Uh, I don't change anything else. Even if I'm playing a game, I don't go into gaming mode. I just leave it the way it is. Uh, screen. This is one of the. This is another reason I like this kernel auditor. Um, it gives you the option to play with different presets for your screen. Okay. Uh, right now I have it on Puritan or Pure Purian. I don't know. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Uh, but th this is the one that looks looks good on this phone. And I'm going to leave it there. Or at least it looks good to my eyes. You guys can choose whatever you want. You can pick and choose, go through this. Uh, it's, it's just awesome. I love the way this is. I like the way it's set up. Uh, I love its UI. I, I like that it's, um, it's user-friendly. It, it's just really nice. Uh, let's see what else. I don't touch my wake controls. I'm not one of those that like to have tap on wake. Uh, I'll use my buttons. Uh, sound, I do turn my sound and mic gain up uh, the whole way. Uh, power and battery, another reason I like this uh, kernel is because I have USB fast charge. If the, uh, if the kernel allows it and uh, if your brick, uh, your power brick allows for USB fast charging, this will give it to you. Uh, I don't mess with any, I don't mess with any of the, uh, crate C state settings. Uh, again, guys, I am not, um, I'm not a developer. I, I've never professed to be, I don't claim to be, and I don't know a whole hell of a lot about Android. Um, I, I'm, I'm a daily Android user. I use, uh, ROMs, kernels, um, I flash them, um, and, you know, I, I know, I know about as much as everybody else does. Um, so what I'm explaining to you is, is my basic setup and what I understand about the kernel. If you go to a lot of the kernel sites like Blackbird's uh, site or Elemental Access site, they always have links that you can uh, click on that will give you some really good in-depth uh, um, you know, reading or uh, uh, explanations as to what this does or what that does. And you could learn a lot. You could actually do a little more tweaking with this. Uh, but this is about as far as I go with it. Um, I.O. scheduler. Um, I do like the, uh, the SIO scheduler. Uh, it does come with um, BFQ. Uh, that's what it comes with. Um, I can tell you just from experience that uh, BFQ, CFQ, and SIO are the ones that I like to use. These are the ones that run the most fluid. When I go deadline, FIOPS, Nuke, um, you know, SIO Plus, or Zen, I usually have a little bit of skipping uh, in my scrolling, uh, but the BFQ, CFQ, and the SIO, it seems I have a lot smoother on my scrolling. Guys, that's about it as far as it goes for kernel setup. Um, and the sound and display setups and everything else in the settings for Bliss are the same as any other signage in Mod ROM. Uh, I do highly suggest that you give it a go. If you guys can live without that, um, you know, without that weather, uh, without the weather app being installed and working, um, it's a good ROM. It runs good. The battery's great. Um, again, I'm not having any skipping issues, any uh, fluidity. Uh, the theme engine works. By the way, the theme I'm running, again, is BSC. Uh, I will show you that. Uh, themes. 
Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm going to go to the Play Store and let you see that quickly. Um, because I, it's, I, I can't believe I can't remember the name of it. Uh, I'm going to hurry, guys. Okay, there it is. Uh, this is actually a Dirty Unicorn approved theme. Uh, it is by J-Rod. He makes some outstanding stuff. Um, so I highly recommend it. Uh, it doesn't even say here. I thought it was black, silver, chrome. Or, yeah, black, silver, chrome. I, I, I don't, that's what I thought B, uh, BSC stood for. Uh, dark theme with chrome accents. Um, it is DU certified. Uh, yeah, I wrote a review. It's, it's, a, it's an outstanding theme. If you guys are into these over-the-top themes, I like them. I like over-the-top themes. Uh, when it changes and gives me the icons to my settings and and it changes, completely changes the look and feel uh, of the way your phone runs, to me, that's an awesome theme. If it's just changing colors, yeah, it's okay, you know, and it's cool. And I like these ones that you can, you know, uh, swap the color on the fly. That's okay, too. Um, but to me, this is a theme. This is, a, this is one that's been just <laughs> a lot of time went into this. Um, for a CM theme. Anyways, just wanted to let you guys see that. That is the theme I am showcasing this time on Bliss. Um, hopefully I will have... Oh, I actually have another one I'll show you on my next review, but I'm going to keep that to myself. Anyways, guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Sorry it took so long. You know me. My videos go long. I, I'm sorry about that. It's just the way it is. Um, I do want to thank all of my subscribers, guys. Uh, you, you guys all rock. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure you post them. Uh, please be nice to each other. Um, and uh, don't don't hack me to death. I'm not perfect. Um, but, you know, there it is. Uh, again, guys, thank you very much. Um, and I will see you all on the next one.